This podcast is a part of the Podmania Podcasting Network. Check out podmania.co.uk to check out more of our great podcasts, features, reviews, match ratings and previews spanning the crazy and diverse world of professional wrestling. You're listening to the Podmania Pro Wrestling Podcast, a sample of the best pro wrestling podcasts we can produce on our tiny budget. Check us out on Apple Podcasts, Podcast Addict, CastBox, and all other podcast platforms. If it's wrestling you want, check out more of our great content at podmania.co.uk. Let's do this. Welcome to another episode of the Pod Mania Podcast. I'm your host, Rob Good, and I am joined as sort of always. I was going to say always, and then I thought this is not exactly consistent in any sort of way. But I am joined by Garth Jackson. Garth, how the devil are you? Hello. Uh, good, yeah. Um, excited. Really excited. It's Royal Rumble time. It's Royal Rumble week, mate. It's it's the one time of the year, aside from WrestleMania, where we can forget how shit the WWE is, how wank and directionless their booking is, and we can just get stuck into a good Royal Rumble match. And in comparison to other Royal Rumbles, I think, despite WWE's booking being pretty much across the scale shambolic, especially on Raw... This year, because there's literally no direction, I haven't a fucking clue who's going to win the Royal Rumble this year. Absolutely, no, absolutely no idea. Like we've got our predictions in, but it could literally be anyone because I hardly know any of the stories going into it. Well, that's the thing. Like um, last year, I think everyone sort of had an inkling that it was probably going to be Drew. And then the year before, obviously, the, you had that um, ready-made storyline with Seth and Brock. And well, maybe people people had sort of guessed that it might be Shinsuke, but didn't want to believe it because it's, you know, the WWE. But this year, there's like, there's so many people that could win it. And it's quite exciting. And that's the men's and the women's rumble as well. Um, I've honestly got because- no idea. I think because what they've done in the past, they've actually been quite daring and they've thrown a couple of curveballs. I think it probably all stemmed from the Roman Reigns thing. Yeah. Um, so it, it's interesting. It's yeah, it's a, interesting to see who's going to win it or what the stories are coming out of it. Absolutely, because this is like obviously we are on branding, branding, branding the road to WrestleMania. Um, this is where all those storylines sort of solidify and we get a sort of direction for um mm-hmm. for WrestleMania. Just to give you some sort of context to everyone who's listening, me and Garth have managed to staunchly stick to our guns and have avoided everything. We don't know who's won the women's rumble. We don't know any of the entrants apart from those that were announced. Same with the men's. Um we also don't know any of the results for the pay-per-view, so we don't know if Goldberg squashed Drew McIntyre in twelve seconds. We don't know if <laughs> Carmella has won the SmackDown Women's Championship. We don't know anything. So I presume um, during this first episode, which is going to be the Women's Rumble, we are going to find out whether Drew retained because I imagine they're going to mention it at some point during the commentary. A couple of things to note. Um, One, obviously, Chris isn't here. He will hopefully be joining us for our landmark 200th episode, Garth. 200th episodes which will be our royal rumble 1992 watch along which will be released on friday at 6 p.m british standard time 200 episodes garth what is your favorite podcasting moment in those 200 episodes garth drunken one in blackpool was quite fun (laughs) well we watched was it rumble 96 royal rumble 95 95. yes yeah uh that was good fun. Um, the many iterations or changes that we've made <laughs> over the years. We're so horribly inconsistent. Oh, uh, just like you spice it up. Yeah, exactly, <clears throat> exactly. We like to spice things up in our wrestling. Um, yeah, it's been it's been a good road. Uh, me and you have been on it for 
quite a long time um, since like yep. the mid, the mid twenties, the mid yeah the mid twenties because twenty eight episode twenty eight was in your house final four. So yeah, it's been it's been hopefully many more to come. Um, but before we get on to the rumble, uh, Goth, how have you been? I feel rude. I haven't asked. How have you been? Um, pretty good. It's it's weird because it's a Monday. And we're doing the podcast. It is so weird, yeah. <laughs> relatively fresh. <laughs> As opposed to the week of being ground down. But uh I've got I've even got some beers on the go and stuff. I can't wait to hear the difference from tonight to Thursday when we record Friday's episode. I honestly cannot hey, wait to hear How are you doing? <laughs> life shit. Everything's shit. I hate my life. Can't wait. It's gonna be amazing. Well, uh, I am in the doghouse, Garth, um, and I'd like to tell you a little story. Um, Obviously, I am working at home at the moment, um, teaching from home, which everyone seems to confuse with having time off. Um, It's it's not. I've never used the words, sorry, can you just unmute yourself or can you just pop yourself on mute as much (laughs) as I have in the last five weeks? Um, But yeah, I'm at home, obviously, unfortunately. My girlfriend, who was also a teacher, is at school. Um, she's in there um, teaching the uh, vulnerable and the uh, key worker kids. So I'm left to my own devices, which to anyone that knows me even a little bit will know that is a dangerous thing. <laughs> now, I was making myself a fish finger wrap, um, you know, a fairly safe thing to do, I think, Garth. I, you know, you'd trust, you know, an eight or nine year old to do that. Um, as you do. As you do. Um, now, I have an unfortunate habit, Garth, that whenever I have something long in my hand, behave, not like that, um, I tend to try and play cricket shots with the thing in my hand because I play cricket because I'm a dork. Um, and, you know, if I've got a knife in my hand or a spatula in my hand or, you know, even a walking stick, I will attempt to play a lovely cricket shot. Now, the utensil in question today was a spatula, a fairly robust spatula and I thought to myself just as the fish fingers were going off I was like I'll play a nice shot here so played a lovely cricket shot in every shot yeah it was it was beautiful beautiful would have gone for six and the spatula snapped in my fucking hand flew all the way across the room and has dug out a massive hole in our kitchen wall um having to explain (laughs) to my girlfriend that there is a hole in our kitchen wall because her 30 year old boyfriend was playing cricket shots, imaginary cricket shots, in the kitchen on his own, was a, a conversation you would have had to have listened to. It, it's up there with the most shameful I think I've ever had. Um, so a response, uh, what the fuck? I think her response is, to most things, I think is very much turn around, shoulders sag, and why are you like this? <laughs> I think that's pretty much her her summary of everything that I do, um, which is a a good summation of our relationship, I'd say. Um, Just before then, we get into the Rumble this week. The way we're going to break it down is exactly the same as we did last year. So we're going to start this time with the Women's Rumble. um, And hopefully, if you're listening to this, it'll be Monday night. So we're going to release this episode then. The Men's Rumble, we will then release on Tuesday at same time, 11 p.m., British time. Then on Friday, we have got our Royal Rumble 1992 match watch along. And then on Sunday, we have got another episode of the Stardom cast with myself and Chris. So lots coming up in the audio form on the Podmania website, as well as my written review of the first NWA TNA weekly pay per view. Fucking hell, that was a slog. Were you watching at that point? No, it was before I was watching. <laughs> wow. It's, uh, well, let's put it this way. The opening match is AJ Styles, Loki, and um, Jerry Lynn taking on, and I shit you not, the Flying Elvises. The Flying Elvises. It is three Elvis impersonators. <laughs> Do you want to know something Sounds... hilarious? The yeah. Elvis impersonators went over. Who was the others in person? Is anybody? Um, it was Jimmy Wang Yang. Um, 
and they were they were fairly well known. They were they were decent wrestlers. It was a good match. It was the match of the night, which is depressing. Um, but just yeah, what a fucking gimmick. And then Ed Ferrara was on commentary, and he came out in dreadlocks and this feathered type, absolute serial killer of comedy. That man, absolute <laughs> fucking disgrace. Um, but anyway, I digress. So look forward to that as well on our website. Anyway, Garth, if you're ready, I think we've waited long enough for this shit. Right. So if you're watching along with us, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to skip along to 50 minutes and 33 seconds, try not to get to the next point on the pay-per-view on the jump to section because that does tell you who the final four women are. Luckily, I haven't seen that. Garth has. But never mind. If you're ready in three, yep. two, one. One, play. Royal Rumble match. Not going to explain the rules. <laughs> do you know what's hilarious? He's got to do this twice. <laughs> the The rules are exactly the same, but he will have to do it twice. Yeah. i got to admit, the Thunderdome looks pretty fucking cool, doesn't it? It does, I. I like it when it's got the... Like the full crowd, yeah, of screens because it looks like it actually like f- when it does like the hard cam, it does look kind of like a crowd. Oh, mate, no, it's Bailey. <laughs> Isn't this your <laughs> choice or is this Chris's? Chris's, oh, yeah, Chris. I'm sure Bailey will go Iron Woman, definitely, mate. I think I went Rhea Ripley, I went Bianca Belair. She's great. He can possibly not do the Ric Flair. <laughs> oh my god, we got fucking Pyro! Oh yes. Oh my god. I hope Randy Orton gets his uh, Pyro. Oh, I want Kane to return. I want Kane's Pyro. Fuck everyone else. <laughs> Bailey's great. Her heel ca- That is a very snazzy suit from Byron Saxton. Fucking hell. Oh. Look at my damn yeah. hair. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I, I, I think I she's trying to Michael say... Cole. I think she's trying to say that she's got Michael Cole shaved into one side of her head and Jerry the King <laughs> Lawler into the other. I think that's what I'm trying... I don't know. I don't know. Who's... who's um, have they actually released who's the, the starting? No. Um, we know number one and number two of the men's rumble. And number thirty of the women's. Um, so it'll be interesting. Please don't be. Don't, please don't be Bianca Belair. Gotcha. Mm. Come on, feel the glow. Boom. Can I ever see her? <laughs> <laughs> Rumble extraordinaire. Well, she'll do something cool off the. You know, she'll do the Kofi yeah. Kingston spot. No Kofi this year in the men's rumble. Is he injured? He's broken his jaw. Okay, now. Is this the coolest women's entrance? It's one of, yeah. Even though the music's dreadful. The music like, is. It's a cool entrance. <laughs> the music is everything I hate about music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Speaking of someone who's been listening to Anti Flag recently, this is just the worst. Anti Flag, holy shit! <laughs> Can't go wrong with some uh, American punk, mate. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm a may, She is married to Jimmy and or Jay Uso, isn't she? Yeah, one of them. One of them, or both of them? I, I don't know. Oh god. Bailey's gonna talk lots now, isn't she? Uh, <laughs> uh. mm-hmm. Go on then, who do you think we're gonna get? Surprise returns. Two I'll give you two guesses. Who do you think we're gonna get? Surprise returns, women wise. Phoenix. I Even though that's not really a surprise, is it? Well, no, she's on it all the time now. <laughs> oh, um, surprise. Uh, no. Medusa. <laughs> Medusa would be amazing. Um, 
I'm currently writing a book um, on 2000 WCW, which will to which will be available to purchase. Um, and Medusa is the current cruiserweight champion. It was like really good, like for that for that period of women's wrestling. She was great. She was far ahead of where she was, you know, of where women's wrestling was in America, not in Japan. In Japan, women's wrestling was incredible. But uh, yeah, there was no one in America on Medusa's level. I'm a, I'm a, I'm amazing. Oh, I need to move my speaker. Oh, so I can see the so I can see the rumble countdown. Three, two, one. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, did she do the uh, the flare. <laughs> oh God's sake! And that's me, folks. She, she did really well last year, though. She didn't... Hasn't she got the most eliminations? It's Bianca Belair, by the way, for anyone who hasn't seen. <laughs> um, yeah, she's got... I'm sure it's 11 it's just... eliminations or something. <laughs> Smooth. Apparently, I don't know if it was you that told me, her chronicle is absolutely amazing. The stuff that she's been through. Who's? Bianca Belair. I haven't, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen it. Apparently, it's really, really worth a watch. It's really, really good. I love also, all the documentaries and stuff on the network. Well, you've been watching the. Oh, that's. Oh, that was. Oh, that wasn't great. That oh, was, yeah. That was. That was a little <laughs> bit sloppy. Um, you've been uh, watching the Yokozuna one, haven't you? Yeah, it's re- it's really good. I haven't finished yet, but uh, um, it's really, really good. It's just like everybody else. Just the demons took over. What wow. the hell? That's amazing. Yeah, fuck off, Bailey. Is this going to be the spot? Is this going to be the spot? Three, two, one. Oh, it's Mandy. Oh, no, it's not. It's Billy Kay. Um, I should point out, Garth, uh, because obviously you aren't watching WWE at the moment. Um, Billy Kay has been split off from Peyton Royce because obviously, you know, they have a tag team division now and thought the best thing to yeah. do was to split up their one fucking women's tag team. Um, yeah. And basically, she's been giving out her CV to different women to try and get them to tag with her. And it's low-key been one of the most funny things on SmackDown. <laughs> <laughs> Because she is genuinely really, really funny. She came out as a member of the Riot Squad in all this punk gear. It was quite funny. Mm-hmm. I like stuff like that, though. Like, when they're just doing daft shit. Yeah. Oof. That's nice. <laughs> it's stacked in the ring. There's three women in there. Oh, come on, don't do this. No, don't be the first eliminated. Oh, okay, that's all good. It's all good. I think the amount of focus they've put on Bel Air recently, she's got to be at least Final Four, surely. Yeah. Like, it seems, I don't know, it seems like on these marquee matches, the se- like like she was when the in um, like NXT and the takeover, she always got really good showings. Yeah, she did. You were always very high on Bianca Bel Air, from what I remember, when we did the NXT reviews. I don't mind it. It's not. It's. Oh, Shotzi wow. Blackheart! No, yeah, that's a surprise. Of course, we got the fucking tank. Yes. Hmm. By the time she gets down there, it'll be the next <laughs> person's tank to come in. <laughs> Proper under. We'll do what they did that year. We'll do what they did that year when um, was it Kevin Owens or someone came down and took somebody out. And then they were in the in the rumble somehow. Uh, fucking hell, Jesus! There was the year when um, Heath Slater kept um, kept being beaten up on his way to the ring. That was it, yeah. Absolutely that was everyone. It, yeah. <laughs> well, 
Billy Kay hasn't actually gone into the match yet. No, she's. I imagine what we're going to get now is her trying to get everyone coming down the ramp to be her tag team partner. <laughs> okay, so we've got Shotzi from NXT. I think Rhea Ripley from NXT is an absolute nailed on, isn't she? She's got. She's yeah. going to be at the Rumble. Um, Fucking hell. I wouldn't be surprised if we get Kyrie Sane again, you know. Yeah. She's been posting loads of stuff about her, all the Rumble gear and stuff from the two previous years, so I reckon we'll get her. Supposed to be coming in. Right, not being funny. Leave Bianca Belair alone. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Who's this? Shayna Baszler. Ah, Shayna Baszler. I thought she was wearing a onesie then. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just all one colour. Oh, Billy, why? Oh, Billy Kidd's walking there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they want, she wants to tag with people in the Rumble, I see. Oh, that's me. Shayna Baszler, Bill. Oh, she's so bland on NA- on main roster, mate. Sure. She's in a team with Nia Jax. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Well, they're in a tag team oh, match later on. in the Unless it was on the pre-show. It might have been on the pre-show. I don't know. But, yeah, she was great. It's like... Right. She's going to come in here, do her, her little bit. Everybody else sits there. <laughs> Just sit down. Nobody's Just stay down for a minute. Her, huh? <sighs> Rings filling up. We're going to have to have some, like a powerhouse soon. Naya. Tony Storm. Tony Storm. She's still heel. Uh yes. And she's going She looks like 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 ninety seven Bret Hart. <laughs> yes, ninety six when he had that when he was wearing his cap backwards. I remember when Brett wore those fishnets and tiny pants. Yep. <laughs> it was a good time <laughs> in Brett's career. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the women's title match for the next takeover is Tony Storm versus Mercedes Martinez versus Io Shirai, which is uh, right. could be very, very good. Hmm. Has anyone been eliminated yet? No. I don't think they have, have they? Rear Imagine view. if they got all 30 people in. <laughs> Without one single elimination. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> and then Swerve Goldberg comes in at 30. Just eliminates oh, everyone. God. Goes for the women's championship at Mania. What what are your thoughts on WrestleMania just half arsed reusing? Oh, and there's the first elimination oh. by Shotzi. Um of I, them I, just I, I reusing thought, the I thought oh. I thought it was tripping because I thought, hang on a minute, this was last year? It's the exact same logo, isn't it? Thank you. Yeah. I think there's a little change to it, but I know you Dean Tamper again, but you have to use the same logo? Really? Who have we got next? Who's this? Jillian! Really? Oh, no way. <laughs> it's not going to thing, is she? Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> Oh no! Oh, it's the worst! Oh my god, make it stop! It's actually quite funny. (laughs) (laughs) Billy and Jilly! (laughs) Genuinely, that tag team would work in actual WWE. Billy and Jilly. Oh, 
Jillian in ring. I know. Oh my god, yeah. Jillian hitting a suplex. Wow. Huh? She's actually slightly better in ring than she was before. Imagine you are the person who gets thrown out by Jillian. <laughs> You could turn it into a story, getting into Mania. Maybe that's mm. what it is. Maybe Jillian is going to have a big marquee match at Mania. It's two nights. What a push. <laughs> <laughs> Cinematic match versus The Undertaker. I'd pay for that. Ruby yeah, Riot. No, oh, Ruby Riot. <laughs> Another person who is absolutely not going to win the Royal Rumble, unfortunately. Because <laughs> she is absolutely great. I love Ruby Riot. Was that the 8K camera they just used? The what? They've got an 8K camera, apparently. It's what they use in the NFL. All right. So you can see Triple H's uh, cut marks even more. (laughs) That was the first thing I remember seeing when it went like full, like proper HD. Was (laughs) the the, like the slice marks on Triple H's forehead. (laughs) The man did love a blade job, though, didn't he? Oh, yeah. And then you're like, oh, yeah. <clears throat> I swear every time I see Ruby Wright, she's got a brand new tattoo. A different haircut. And a different haircut, yeah. She could have been the next page, like the whole anti-diva yeah. thing. And she just got thrown into the shuffle. And then they just went... Um totally soft on it, not Yeah. They pushed that and then they did nothing. Well, they just threw her into the, all those um, call-ups when you had Absolution and the Riot Squad. Yeah. How is Jillian still in the match, Garth? Hmm. Nobody's gone out yet, have they? Oh, yeah. Has it? Uh, Shotzi. Gone out yet? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Victoria! Victoria? Wow. I would never have predicted. No. Still looks good shape. Looks, yeah, can you see what I mean though? The diff, like the camera. Can you see what I mean? Oh, uh, oh yeah, yeah. It's a bit chunky, isn't it? Like, yeah, it's good. It's quite weird. She was great in her time. Victoria was. Yeah. Horror. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she's got to be. She's got to be in her fifties now. Well, is she? She's post Trish and Lita, isn't she? She's like towards the end of Trish and Lita. Just, yeah. So, she's late 40s. She's late 40s, definitely. There's no fans, Victoria. This must be so off-putting. Hurt. Oh, get back in quick. <laughs> You've got to have that one person go through the ropes just so that the commentators can go. You can't get eliminated that way. Oh fucking hell! That Jesus. Was good. <laughs> I thought you went a bit. Sh- uh, was going to go a bit short. Number eleven. Who's next. Don't know. That? Peyton Royce, Peyton Royce. Completely different theme, but okay. <laughs> Could there be more of a swagger there with Peyton Royce? <laughs> Good enough our skills. <laughs> <laughs> Check out the swag. Who's their tag partner? Oh, Lacey Evans. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, so far. Oh, skin the cat, skin the cat. Oh, we can have a call back to the Iconics. Why the fuck did they split them up? Why? That's, that's what WWE do, isn't it? You can't have a tag team last very long. 
even though it makes no sense. Yep. Oh. Fucking a pile driver then. That was a fucking hell. <laughs> the hell, Santana Garrett? Yep. There you go. Never seen her before? No. Nope. Sure? No idea who she is. She looks sort like, of happy to be there. Oh, she's fairly athletic. We're going to have to have some elimination soon because we've got like, we've got 12 in people in the ring. We've got 11 people in the ring. We've only had one eliminated. Maybe they're setting them all up for Big Tom. <laughs> Big Tom. Tom's going to come in and like eliminate 15 <laughs> people. <laughs> the Samoan slaughter machine. Or Dana, or Dana Brooke. Oh, don't say Dana Brooke. Fuck it. She has improved, to be fair. But I don't want to see her go Lacey, on a tear. Is Lacey Evans in this? Like, oh, she's shagging Ric Flair in storyline. Oh, oh, I saw that, yes. That's to, right, I, to get oh into his head. Oh, my God. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> It's like the nineties all over again. It really is. I really like the comic book branding of the Royal Rumble. I must admit. <laughs> Come on. Is this fourteen? Thirteen? Thirteen. Liv Morgan. Is <laughs> she dressed Fine. like Christina Aguilera? <laughs> oh, she is. Like... It is. It's it. Dirty. <laughs> Not that I know what that video's like or anything, obviously. Like, that crossed with um, Harley Quinn. Well, yeah, I suppose that now that Alexa Bliss is all uh, demony, it's uh, I suppose she is the heir apparent to that. Why is Jillian still in this fucking match? Picking people's heads in. Kicking people's heads in. <laughs> ah. We've seen Billy and Jilly implode. Already. Already. Oh. Yeah, fuck off. No, you gotta keep Jillian strong, guys. Gotta keep Jillian strong. Oh no. Oh, there she goes. Did alright? Oh, boo. Unlucky. <laughs> oh, Billy Kay's gone, by the way, which is quite disappointing <laughs> because she was genuinely quite entertaining. <laughs> oh, no. Let's <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. This might be the destroyer. That you wanted. Yeah. She is literally the female version of Pete Dunne. Yeah, I can see that, mate, to be she fair. Just has that, she just has that, well, the same haircut that he used to have, but like that air about him. It makes the background look not real. Weird. It, it makes it look like the video game. It does. She's She is definitely someone that could be a star. Someone that they could build the women's division around. Had previous with Tony Storm. Absolutely. And so she's gone. Bye, Tony Storm. <laughs> oh, she's great. She's great. I genuinely I hope if Bianca Belair doesn't win, I hope they do do a Rhea Ripley win. Rhea Ripley versus Charlotte. Versus Charlotte to the Boogaloo. Victoria's busting out all moves. <laughs> Is um thingy from NXT come as dressed as like Mickey James from nineteen ninety nine or something? <laughs> Oof, oh Victoria's gone fucking hell, Shayna. <laughs> Shit no fucking regard. Good first. Oh, 
And oh. oh, Santana Garrett. Yeah. Take me oh, gym. fucking hell. Oof. Jesus. <laughs> that's brilliant. That's, good. that's a great <laughs> elimination. I love that. See, Rhea Ripley works as a badass face, and she could be a really nasty heel. She can be the like, the anti face, though, can't she? Here we go. All right. Shit's getting real. Shit is getting real. Listen to those piped in cheers. She's had more work done, hasn't she? She has, but I will say now I have never been a fan of like the the um the lips where lip fillers, that's what I was looking for, the mm-hmm. phrase I was looking for. And she looks ten times better now she hasn't got those. Yeah. However, irrelevant of that, she's still fucking grey in ring. Mm-hmm. I know she is massively overused by the WWE, but she is fucking great in ring. And I wouldn't hate seeing Rhea Ripley versus Charlotte again and get Rhea Ripley of the win. However, the we're not going to get that. <laughs> we're not going to get that because Charlotte is going to win now. She's <laughs> going to destroy Rhea Ripley, eliminate her straight away. I bet Lacey Evans is next. Lacey, I was going to say Lacey Evans is going to come down and so been, your dad's been pumping us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, that's, that's great. Yeah. That's great. Nice. Great stuff, Bailey. I mean, that sounded like fucking hard when uh, <laughs> Ruby at the floor. So, oh, time out. Oh, Dana Brooke. Dana Brooke. Dana Brooke. Is she going to do her Ooh. weird cartwheel thing she does in the 2K games? No. She's got the lip filler store. Yeah. She's another one who has improved slightly, but she had room to improve because she wasn't great. Don't get on the top rope, you fool. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Somersault sent on. Keen L, calm down. Um, he looks oh, like okay. Charlotte Flair. Uh, there, was, there was literally no one home for about an hour and a half then before Dana Brooke did that. <laughs> Sweet. Going on a tear, Dana Brooke. Come on. Royal Rumble winner, Dana Brooke. I wonder if Lana's going to be in it and get put through a table again. <laughs> Continuing that storyline, imagine. <laughs> What's that? Your boyfriend's gone to AEW. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Oh, fucking hell. Oh. Yeah. It's got a hurt. They're working together. Oh, it looks that way, doesn't it? Four, three, two, no, one. Anymore. Who's next? Tori Wilson. Tori Wilson. Doesn't she hold the record? Yes, it I Kelly think Kelly? so, yeah. Is it Tori Wilson or Kelly Kelly? Oh, I don't know, actually. Now that you, men- oh, now that you mentioned Kelly Kelly, I don't know. She is in tremendous shape. She's another one who's got to be late 40s, early 50s. Mm -hmm. She's in phenomenal shape. (laughs) On the uh, the site, I have just reviewed the Royal Rumble 2003. And I don't know if you remember this, that was during the time that Dawn Marie literally fucked Tori Wilson's dad to death. Do you remember that storyline? No. <laughs> it was. It was the shit. The absolute shit. But they had a wrestling match to sort it out. These clothes are do. dog shit, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, imagine if Tori Wilson eliminated Charlotte. 
<laughs> By mistake. <laughs> she was supposed to win. What are you doing? I always think, like, what happens if, like, one of the main people goes up by mistake? Like, well, why would you do that? That's a good question. Oh, oh, uh, no. Hold them out. Oh, my God. This, this, oh, this doesn't look good. Oh, my God. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, oh so strength oh like. Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. He just ruffle Rhea Ripley's hair then. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> what a dickhead. <laughs> Amazing. Up. Um, oh. oh, it's Lacey. Oh, it's going to be Lacey Evans. That's amazing. Wearing the robe. <laughs> that's him. <laughs> oh, my God. Flair, Flair, you can't enter the Women's Rumble, mate. You can't, mate. That's not allowed. I think that he was almost on death's door not that long ago. Yep, and like he pump- was on death's door. And they're pumping <laughs> him out for all the COVID era WWE. Look at him. <laughs> He's just loving life, isn't he? <laughs> Do you remember when, uh, not so long ago, they were portraying Lacey Evans as a family woman with, you know, a yeah. daughter and a husband, and now she's uh, shagging Ric Flair? Got to do whatever you can to get ahead. But the thing is, this won't work, and Charlotte will eliminate Lacey Evans, so this will all be for naught. I love that Charlotte's just looking at her going, this is fucking ridiculous. Like nobody's bothering her. Like nobody's yeah, trying exactly. to catch her off guard. Can you eliminate her? What are you doing? Don't just stand there. Charlotte has literally just stood in the centre of the ring for about <laughs> a minute and a half watching that and no one touched it. Look at all the feathers. Charlotte inconsiderate. <laughs> Why is she so mad? Like, she should be happy her dad's like <laughs> getting what he's getting. That is it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was Lacey Evans saying that she had to start calling a stepmom and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, got to make Charlotte look strong. Got to make Charlotte look strong. Ooh. Ow, ow, ow. Ooh, that looked painful. I'm not entirely sure that was supposed to happen either. Um, that's a hammy gone. Oh, God. Oh, bye, Tori. Oh, no. No, she wins the striking exchange with Shayna because... Oh, no, there we go. <laughs> Bye-bye, Tori. Bye-bye, Tori. It's been fun. Oh, Bailey's been eliminated. Joe. Huh? Oh, fucking there hell. She is. I missed oh. it. Sorry, Chris. <laughs> oh, Mickey, Mickey James. James. Didn't expect that. I thought we'd just seen her. Actually, no. She's in it, isn't she? She's... She was in WWE. She's still in WWE. She's just not in story. <laughs> 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 Random. That was like the most like unceremonious. Yeah. Proper tame, wasn't it? I'll tell you what, again, Mickey James must be what? Late forties? She's another one who's still in 40s, tremendous yeah. shape. And still yeah. a good worker. Absolutely. Mrs. Aldis, of course. Mm-hmm. Oh. Charlotte will have none of your bullshit because she is the John Cena of the women's division. Charlotte wins <laughs> lol. Lols. <laughs> what's, uh, what's, what's going on here? Why? I'm, I'm confused as to why these two have got beef with each other and why they're just looking at each other. Bianca Belair still doing strong. Come on, Bianca. Is Rhea still in? Oh, yeah, Rhea's in there. Yeah, in the corner. 
So who have we got? We've got Bianca, Naomi. Oh, that was close. Bianca, Naomi, Rhea Ripley, <laughs> Shayna, Charlotte, Mickey. I don't think Mickey James is going to last, to be fair. No. Much as she's still a great worker. Do you remember when she randomly appeared in NXT to take on Asuka? Yeah. Just before she Just got drafted to SmackDown. Nikki Cross. Nikki Cross. Oh, I miss crazy Nikki. Like sanity Nikki Cross. No, it's just like kooky weird. Yeah. Nikki Cross. I wouldn't be opposed to Nikki Cross winning this, to be fair. I mean, she won't, but... This is the type of thing where they need to give it to somebody like that to, to give them a lift. That's why I think someone like a Bianca Belair or Rhea Ripley would work. Yeah. It immediately offers credence to them. Not Lacey Evans. We do, we don't need more Lacey Evans on the screen, for God's sake. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Oh. Just realised that Rhea Ripley's got my hair. Well, with the highlights and everything. Wait, maybe not with the highlights, no. <laughs> <laughs> So, Iron Woman Naomi. Who'd have thought that? I don't know. Fucking hell. Can you get your leg like that? Me. <laughs> Struggle to get in the ring. <laughs> Up the steps. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, just stop for a minute. I need that little lift. Oh, Alicia Fox. Alicia I Fox. Lift. Alicia Fox. I need that little lift that Undertaker had. <laughs> Do you need the cart that they had a couple of rumbles ago? Wasn't she hammered when they got... Wasn't there a... St- I'm sure I heard yeah. the story that she... Wasn't it one of our last... Our last... Performances was because she was absolutely off her tit. Yeah, I think so. Mm-hmm. Why, what the fuck is going on here now? Yeah, I- are they in storyline here? <laughs> oh, the 24 7 thing. Oh, truth's just come and then said, oh shit, wrong rumble. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Umberto Carrillo's still a thing. I remember him being counted as the next Eddie Guerrero. Jesus. Why is, why is Alicia Fox... Oh, uh, Alicia Fox has pinned him to become new 24-7 <laughs> champion. <laughs> Amazing. It's actually quite good. It is. Who's this now? Huh? Mandy. Mandy Rose. Have you seen... Oh, my... It was something on Twitter. The writing on Mandy Rose's... Um, on Mandy Rose's Titan Tron. You've got to look at it. It's hilarious. It's just splooge writing. It's amazing. It's just white and drippy. It's horrible. Like they've done on purpose. Oh, they must have done. It, it's rank. And it comes up at a really weird moment in the song as well. It's like Bret, Bret Hart's onesie. <laughs> yeah. The jizz onesie. <laughs> here's Bret Hart in his uh, Bukaki outfit circa 1994 <laughs> <laughs> I'm not being funny if someone rolled me up like that my back had split in twain you know our truth is say again like our truth yes like he's, been, he's been around for like so long it's ridiculous. I can't believe how long he's been around since. And he's in stupid shape considering he is like he is fifty something. He's um forty forty nine. Forty nine. Jesus, we've only got seven more after this. Well, Dakota Kai. Dakota Kai.
I loved Dakota Kai. I haven't seen much of her recently, but I absolutely loved Dakota Kai. She's not going to win the Royal Rumble, is, the, is she, though? Uh, I she just come as like a second rate Sasha Banks. Second rate Sasha <laughs> Banks. <laughs> Did you see Mickey James very nearly get in the way then? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Wrong battle. So who have we had returning legends then? We've had Tori Wilson, Victoria, and Gillian, haven't we? And obviously Mickey James, sort of. And Mickey James, yeah. And then we had Poundland Mickey James before and in uh, Santana Garrett. <laughs> Oh, and oh, Mickey man. James has gone. I'd have rather seen Lacey Evans eliminated there, not going to lie. Yeah. Is uh, Natalia still kicking around? Uh, Natalia is number 30. Should oh, have I told you go. that? Because uh, that was spoiling. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but in fairness, at least it doesn't. It There's saves you thinking, oh, God, I bet it's a big number 30, and then Natalia comes out. Yeah. Saves you that disappointment, doesn't it, really? So a minute up, huh? Five, four, three, two, one. Who have we got now? Carmella. Oh, Carmella. There you go, Sasha Banks retained. Oh. That was never really a surprise, was it? No, no, it wasn't. Oh my god, get to the ring. And go. Oh, fucking hell! <laughs> oh my god! Slam. Oh god! Her poor face! Her poor Jesus face is ruined! Wept. Oh my god! Oh, my Mandy! Mm. Jesus Christ! Thanks oh my night. god! That Dakota Kai <laughs> elimination! Oh my god! What the hell is that dude wearing? Um, that is a good question. <laughs> and oh, that would have been hilarious! Oh god! Yeah. <laughs> so Reginald, from what I can gather, is the proto James Ellsworth. He's like, yeah. Oh, oh come on. And oh no, is and there we go by Nikki Cross. Oh, Nikki. Who we got now? Oh, for fuck's Big sake. Tom. Big <laughs> Tom. Here she comes. Just a black hole of charisma and energy and emotion. Talent. Oh, oh look. bye. She touched the <laughs> Cop hell is eliminated. <laughs> you dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's genuinely quite good, quite like that. That's probably the most it's... entertaining thing Tamina's ever done in wrestling. <laughs> Indirectly. <laughs> Indirectly, yeah. <laughs> oh, Rhea Ripley Hoss looks battle. absolutely right. I'm going to call it now Rhea wins. Mm. Can you imagine if Tamina won the Rumble? Oh my god, the scenes. Tamina wins it, but then Rock comes out. <laughs> to like, raise like, a hand. That even rains. <laughs> <laughs> and then wonders why everyone's booing him. <laughs> uh, they've just done that. I was just going to say, haven't we seen this spot once? Mm hmm. It's fine. I'm going to lie there, even though it's very, very dangerous and precarious. I love the fact that her shoes are still flashing, though. Mm. That's craftsmanship. And goodbye, Naomi. She haven't touched the floor. Oh, no, her feet didn't touch. 
Just lie there. Yeah, just lie there until the very, very end. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, phew. It's all good. Belair's still in. Leave her hair alone. No, no, no. That was quite clever. A clever one. Not as good as the pancakes one. That <laughs> the pancake one. Another good one. I'm not entirely sure, because I'm sure they could have done that on their own. <laughs> oh, there's Lacey Evans to Worst ruin kick. everything. Oh, Lana. God. Hi, Lana. I think you're going to get put through a table because I think we're going to see Nia Jax next. Mm-hmm. Why haven't Nia Jax and Big Tom not created the ultimate powerhouse team? They have. They they were at Mania a couple of years ago, but then they I think they decided that, do you know what? Tamina's powerful. boring. <laughs> They're too powerful for that division. <laughs> What are you doing? What are you doing, Lana? You're you ruining dare, everything. You bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh fucking <Fuck>. Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing worked there from Tam at all. Not so pretty now. Smash. <laughs> Eat turnbuckle, bitch. Right, Naomi, I'm not being funny now, but can you leave Bel Air alone? <laughs> Seriously, not being funny now. Can leave her alone. Oh. I do like the story that those two are telling of we're too good to be eliminated. So we're going to come up with different ways of staying in. <laughs> Fuck off, Lacey Evans! How are you knackered already? It's not all night with Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely forgot Charlotte was even in this match. Three, two, one. But you were five of the mentioned that most winners have come from 27. Here we go. I haven't seen any of the Alexa stuff, but people keep saying I should. It's good. They just potentially shouldn't have jobbed uh, Asuka to her. That's the issue you've got. Mm. It's who they chose to uh, to job her to. If it had been like, you know... Lacey so Evans is she doing the same sort of thing as Bray then? Yeah, pretty much. While Bray's off, because Bray's in at the moment, he's taking time she off. Was all mental. I imagine we're going to see him in the Rumble. Probably fucking Bray Randy or Orton. Fiend. Both. Or the both. many faces of Bray. <laughs> going to see Husky mm-hmm. Harris. We're going to see him. We're going to see uh, Swamp Bray. We're going to see the Fiend. Yeah, bye, bye, Lexi. And she's going to go all demony. She's going to go all demony. You ready? Where they all go over the top of her. Oh, here we go. That doesn't seem to be. Oh, they fucked it up. No. We're going to see Demon Bliss. (laughs) (laughs) Ha 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 ha! <laughs> Bye, Lexi. They only had like half of the screens sort of turned. So, yeah, that seemed anticlimactic. What a weird elimination that was. So they've they jobbed the Raw Women's Champion to Alexa and then had her eliminated literally straight away. What fucking yeah. nonsense. Oh, and the boom. Mm-hmm. So we've got one more person and then Natalia. Oh, she's getting full Sonata. <laughs> she's quality. Say again? She's quality. She was. She's in NXT now, so she's actually getting a fair rub. Oh, the fucking oh. Eclipse is so good. I mean, movie. she missed Shayna entirely there, but <laughs> still good. She's been so unlucky with injuries and shit. Yeah. 
Right, fuck off, Lacey. Oh, God, you're so bland and annoying. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. Double eclipse. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. Oh, oh don't Lana, never go ever. Away. Never she just stop w- to celebrate. <laughs> she just wants one elimination. That's all she wants. This is going to be Naya, isn't it? Oh, yep. yeah. Yeah, she's not like my skills, gonna, Garth. Someone's going to get their nose broke. <laughs> Somebody gotta get the face split. <laughs> oh, I don't understand how she is still employed. On the plus side, Lacey might go now. Someone's gonna end up with a broken face. <laughs> Bye, Lacey. And bye, Ember Moon? No? Right. Eat shit. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, yes, fuck. Don't hold back. Oh, imagine <laughs> if Nia Jax wins this. I mean, she's not going to, but imagine the scenes. I think... I think we're probably going to get Lana eliminate Nia Jax. Oh, and there's Naomi gone. In fairness, in fairness to her, Nia Jax has now been in the Rumble for about two and a half minutes and hasn't injured anyone yet. Well, yet. I'm so confused. Go on, eliminate Tam. Go on, Tam, lass. Go on. Eliminate both of them. <laughs> Just fuck them both off. Oh, oh, Tam's gone. Listen to all those people who care. Why are you fighting each other, you fucking idiots? You are both a tag team and there are more people in the ring. What are you doing? The winner so no, has got to be... Oh. oh. And there we go. Three. <laughs> That's fine. I get that. Rumble. Understand. But Shayna has a point. There are other people in the ring, you tit. <laughs> Bye, Lana. Mate, <laughs> I, I genuinely think that it's going to be between Rhea and Bianca who wins this. I think it might be between our two picks. <laughs> slappity! Slappity! Why would you do that? That's just a foolish <laughs> thing to do. Oh, oh, and goodbye, Naya. There you go. Called it. Lana's mm-hmm. one elimination will be Naya Jax. She can still get in there, though. <laughs> just put her through a table. It was worth it. Was it? You missed out on a championship match. Here we go. Brett! Like, the Ooh. biggest anti-climax. <laughs> I know. That's that's why I didn't feel bad about telling you, to be fair. <laughs> They're wearing the same gear. What are you doing? Mm-mm. That's so confusing. Why is Natalia and Shayna wearing the same gear? Oh, you spoil sports. Oh, God. It's your guns. <laughs> Broken back. She just falls into people with just no regard for them. Oh, 
You know, when you watch somebody, like like say a footballer, and you just watch them, and you think there's nothing really you can do. You just you're not talented. You can't most, do this. Most of the shit. Newcastle team, mate. It's like this is what it's like watching her. It's like no matter how much training, sometimes people just don't have it. You can't polish a turd. Exactly. So this is the final five then. Bianca Belair, Rhea Ripley, Natalia, Charlotte and Lana. I don't think anyone anticipated Lana being in the final five. Are we going to do it where she's like the last one? Sorry. What the fuck is going on here? Well, we all know what's happening here, don't we? Yeah, Lana's getting eliminated. Oh, God, who saw that coming? So, they're mates because they're wearing the same outfit. <laughs> That's what it is. What a tame, oh, wow. tame elimination. I think you might be right, Garth. I think Rhea's winning this. I think it, the final oh, two will be Charlotte. Rhea and Charlotte, and Rhea will eliminate Charlotte. Fingers crossed. I need to pick up some of those wins. Is Natalia <laughs> supposed to be gold dust? Fuck knows. <laughs> Fuck knows. I don't even care. <laughs> she's dog shit. Like, she's <laughs> not. She's not. To be fair, she's not. But no. she's so bland. That's the thing. That's what I was going to say to you. No matter how many times the yeah. WWE have tried to push her, they just, they've just they given her the worst. Give They gave her the farting gimmick. They gave her the cat thing. And she, they, it's just no one cares. She's a good worker and always has been, but just nobody gives a shit. No way Natalia can't eliminate her. <laughs> the scenes, if that happened. Oh, she is. Oh, oh no. Oh, I thought it happened then. Bye, Natalia. <laughs> uh-huh, screw you. <laughs> <laughs> what cut. a waste of a 30th entrant. Fucking oh, no. hell. Jesus Christ. That was worse than Alexa. Fucking waste of Alexa, that was. Charlotte always looks like it's a real pain for her to smile. Yeah, it's because of the teeth. Those fake, blatantly fake teeth. <laughs> I love the fact that they've stopped saying main event WrestleMania. That'll be Goldberg. <laughs> oh, God. Imagine. I half expected him to be number 30 in this. In this Goldberg, room, versus, genuinely. Goldberg versus Hulk Hogan. Oh, imagine. The main event of WrestleMania 2021. <laughs> the most overbooked main event ever. Sting makes an appearance. <laughs> Sergeant Slaughter come out. <laughs> With the Iron Sheik and General Adnan. <laughs> His Iraqi sympathizer gimmick. Charlotte's winning this, isn't she? No, they won't have it two years in a row. Fucking hell. She is like the golden child, though. Yeah, she is. Imagine if she wins the Rumble and then wins the Championship of Asuka before Mania. <laughs> oh, there's the first point. We haven't, we've haven't. we only had one point. No, two. Yeah. There we go. Two points. Just reminding us what it's all about after we've said it a thousand times. Come on, Rhea. Rhea wants it the most. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 oh. No. Nope. No, no, no. <sighs> fuck's sake. Go on! Oh, for fuck's sake. Fucking finish your spamming now. Come on. Oh, they're going to both go and the Charlotte's yes! going to... Oh. Come on. Come on, Bianca. Fuck off, Charlotte. Come on, Bianca. 
Why are you laughing? You've been eliminated. Fuck. Stop laughing, you tit. <laughs> Come on, then. Come on, Rhea. Yeah, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Stop celebrating, Bianca. No, no, no. no. Go yeah. on. Oh, no. Go on. <laughs> Come on. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Calm um, down. I don't think so. Come on, Bianca. Charlotte, Charlotte, cost Rhea. Charlotte, cost Rhea, and Bianca <laughs> will win them. Come on. Well, I said it would be between these two. Yeah. Of course. not going to happen. No, there's the fucking visual elimination. Oh! <sighs> Rhea's winning here, isn't she? Come on, Bianca! Oh, Jesus! Do you know what? Genuinely, fun. this has been a relatively enjoyable rumble. Yeah, it's been all right. Oh, fucking hell. That was like on the Matrix. It was, yeah. Where they fight each other in the subway. Is it the subway? Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, God. The piped in this is awesome, chance. Fucking hell. Come on. Come on, Bianca. You've been going since th number three. Come on, lass. Oh, uh, this is risky. No, no, no. That's no. Don't you dare go this way. Just didn't mean to do that. <laughs> for the six one nine. Oh, Riptide. No, no. Nope. Oh, oh, bad Brit. Oh, it's fucking strength, that. Come on, Bianca! Come on, Bianca! Oh, for fuck's sake! No. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, my God. <laughs> the tension! Yes, oh, come on! Oh, damn it. Yes, Bianca! Come on! <laughs> that closing oh, stretch it. was fucking great. <laughs> When you got a bet on, <laughs> oh, I should have done. I wonder what the odds were. That was class. That was a really, really good mm. closing stretch. And she thoroughly deserves it as well because she's been bloody entertaining. Rhea will still get a match with Charlotte because she eliminated Charlotte, so. Yeah, that's class. Right, Garth, let's pause it. Let's pause it there and hold. What did you think about that? Good. Good. Um, I don't... I really don't enjoy a rumble. Um, I think there was enough there. There was enough, like, returning... Inverted commas... Legends. Julian. Yeah. Um, Julian. Returning, <laughs> but... It was entertaining though, like even those people were, were, were quite entertaining. Um that final stretch is really good. Um, yeah, it's just a really fun women's rumble. So hopefully the men's is as fun. I liked it for the most part. Like I said before, the closing stretch between Bianca and uh, Rhea Ripley was absolutely was fantastic. I think it was help that we were both investors. They were on two picks, um, <laughs> but it was great. I really enjoyed that. I thought there was a f there was a few too many wasted spots. I mean, the yeah. the whole building of Alexa Bliss building up to this Rumble 
and then she's eliminated before she can demon up. I sort of understand it because obviously once she demons up, she's being billed as this unstoppable monster. So once she's demoned up, there's yeah, I do understand that, but I'd have her come out earlier in that case, you know, have her at least demon up a little bit and eliminate a few people rather than just being dumped out after a couple of seconds. Natalia coming in at 30 was completely pointless. Um, I sort of get the Naya and Shayna thing, but I think there needed to be slightly fewer people in the ring before yeah. they turned on each other. I know they're sort of un- unwilling tag partners, but there we are. Um, otherwise, thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, <clears throat> I'd give it three and a half stars. I think it was a good, enjoyable rumble, and I think the mm-hmm. right person won. I think it. W- yeah. I think it was between her and her being Bianca Belair. And um, and Rhea Ripley, I thought it was a really, really good rumble. Agree, Garth? Yeah, three and a half, yeah. It's good. Good fun. Great stuff. Some good, right. some, some good um, like little stories in there, which always helps the rumble, I think. Even though I don't know what the stories are coming into it, you can kind of work it out, which is always a good little side stories to the main thread. It's good. Absolutely. I mean, you have the Bailey and... Um, Bianca Belair thing, which has sort of been the thing um, on SmackDown. You'd got the whole Lana and Nia Jax thing, which I enjoyed. They came back to, which was good. Um, I thought the elimination of Carmella was funny. I thought the Billy Kay thread at the start was really good. I thought that was hilarious. Yeah. Jillian appeared. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Legend. Um, seeing Victoria was nice. Yeah. Um, and she still got it as well. Looked decent. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah. Overall, like I say, a good rumble. Let's hope the men's um, competes with that. Let's hope the men's sort of stands up to those lofty expectations. Uh, You'll find out, obviously, um, we're going to release our reactions to the men's rumble on Tuesday as you're listening to this. Um, So we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for listening, guys. You can subscribe to the podcast wherever you get your podcasts. Please leave us a five-star review and a comment. It really, really, really helps us out. Uh, Check out the website, www.podmania.co.uk for all our archived podcasts, match ratings, and all of our reviews and things like that. Lots of great things coming up on the website. Um, you can find us on Twitter at, at Podmania. Join the Facebook group, Podmania Podcasts. Uh, you can talk to me on Twitter at, at Real Rob Goodwin. Garth, where can they find you? At the Garthberg. You can find Chris at, at Chris Loves Puro and also check out his YouTube channel because he would kill me if he didn't know I'd plugged his YouTube channel. So go and check that out as well. Um, we will be back, as I said, on Tuesday with our men's. Royal Rumble reactions back on Friday with our 200th episode special, the Royal Rumble 1992. Until then, guys, we'll talk to you guys again soon. You've been listening to the Podmania Pro Wrestling Podcast. Follow us on Twitter at Podmania, Facebook at Podmania Podcasts, and YouTube and Instagram at Real Podmania. And check out the website, podmania.co.uk. Until next time, wrestling fans. Podmania.